Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have some great tips for using the everyday detail dies. My name is Karen Slowinski. I am here in snowy Akron, Ohio. Um, today is an unexpected snow day for me. So normally I'm filming um, on the weekends, but today is a Friday and we had a snow day and we learned about it last night before I left work. So it's pretty exciting. So anyway, so today I'm gonna be showing you all kinds of ideas and some things you might not even think about for using those dies. There's 11 dies in there, but you can use them in more ways than just 11. So I have, believe it or not, 10 cards to show you today. So I'm not gonna be making a card because I don't want this video to be super duper long, but I have 10 cards. So I'm gonna be featuring those and talking about some of the different things that you can do with these dies. Let's dive in. So this is our mini catalog. And these dies are found on page 28. Now you may not have even noticed them on this page. They're part of a bundle, but actually they are fine to be independent. But here is the die bundle right here it goes with this Everyday Details uh, set. So I only got the dies and I, you know, this didn't really speak to me. So I just wanted to focus on them. So I had a lot of fun playing with these today. So let's look at them a little closer. So the dies, when you look at them, there are 11 of them in the set, okay? There's a couple of them though that are a little bit different. So when you look at this one, this actually cuts two. So it cuts the inside one. So if you can see this line right here, so that's gonna cut out a circle of that size, but then it's gonna leave these dots behind. And the same thing is true with one of these rectangles. So it's going to cut this smaller inside one and then leave all the dots behind. So I made a chart and I think this will help explain it a little bit better. So here are those dies and I've cut them out and I have put all the measurements on here. So I know that a lot of them have 16ths and one even has a 32nd in it, but don't fret about that. It's just to give you an idea of what you're going to need to use this um, either to mat it or to have an inside piece or you know what size card you wanna make if you wanna make it square. So you'll you'll find that they're really easy to use. So in the picture, this die here um, is is it looks like there's only one. So you can see that right here, where it looks like it's one long one, but that's not really the case. It is two smaller ones, as you can see right here. So that's how I cut it out for for this. Now the cool thing about this is that. You can combine these to do a couple other shapes. So remember when I first described it, this was the largest one and I said it does two for one. So this is what is left behind. And then that's the size rectangle I did just to, need to leave a nice little border. This is the part that would come out of it. For this one, it leaves behind this. So you've got this circle of um, dots, but then you have this one that is independent. So combining them so if you were to take and cut all three of these at once so you'd put these on your paper like this and you'd run it through the machine cut them all out at once and do the same thing with just these three for the rectangles because this one doesn't actually cut the dots out oh and you should see my floor because i've been cutting um, a lot of these today and there are dots all over but when you combine them these are some of the additional shapes that you can get or frames. So I really like this one, which is that double ring. Um, I think that's beautiful. So I've got a card made with that. So it just gives you a little bit more versatility than just the straight 11 dies. And I think most people know how to use um, dies and, you know, put sentiments on there. So I've got some cards that are pretty simple. Let's start out with this first one. This is made from the Cutest Cows bundle. I love this one. This was one of the cards that I made from one of my swaps that I participated in. And you can see I just used two of those dies on this card and a third one on the inside. And then here is the envelope. So that's really basic. That's just like using any of our other dies um, that you would use for any of our, any of our basic shapes. 
So this next one is using the Fluffiest Friends Bundle and the Softly Said stamp set. Both are online exclusives. So here I use that big die and then I just did a larger panel and then I matted it um, with some of the paper. This is in the um, in the Celebration Catalog and that is the Most Adored Designer Series paper. So I really like how that one turned out. And then that's how I decorated the inside and then just for you for the envelope. All right, so this next one is where we're starting to get into the nitty gritty of how you can do things a little bit differently. So for this one, I did the largest circle and then can you see how I have this twine? So this is the Baker's twine that comes in our in colors and I used a tapestry needle. So here, let's see if we can see. This is a tapestry needle. Um, this is something you might use if you're doing cross stitch. And I think this is either a 22 or a 24 size. And that is how I was able to thread this into my needle and then get it through. I first tried by just, you know, putting a, a piece of scotch tape at the end of it and seeing if I could just thread it through that way, but no, um, it gets too uh, frayed. So I just go ahead and I just threaded it all the way around and then tied that lovely bow at the top. And this is using the stippled roses bundle. And I love, love, love the dies in this one. I just think these are so stunning. Adding a few little butterflies. This, this I think is a beautiful card. And there is the inside of that one. And the envelope, of course. So then, keeping with the stitching theme. Let me put my needle aside so I don't lose it. I took another one of the rectangles. And this time, instead of stitching with the baker's twine, I just did linen thread. And then I matted that on another piece of um, cardstock. In this case, I chose um, crumb cake. And then I added this layer as one of the other dies, and I just popped that up. So this design, I want to give a shout out to Dina Rico. She's my upline. She had done a card in these colors, a similar kind of concept. So that was my inspiration for um, this card's design. And then there is my inside, and there is my envelope. So using your threads, if you have embroidery threads, um, I've done quite a bit of needlework, so I have some beautiful gold and, and silver and other kind of metallic um, threads that I could use. But that is a great way of jazzing up these dies in a very unexpected way. All right, another way that's a little bit unexpected is this one is I use some brads. Now we do have some brads in our in our new catalog, our annual catalog. I don't have those yet, um, but I had some older Stampin' Up um, brads. We used to do quite a few of these uh, quite a few years ago with Stampin' Up. So I pulled out some of my old ones and I used it here. So the trick with this one is because the holes are so close to the edge, you really do need to mount this piece with the holes on it on something else because when you fold the brads back those little flaps are going to show if you don't have something wider than this so the other thing that i did with this is i stuck my label onto my designer series paper this is the rock and roll designer series paper and this is the heartfelt hellos for the um sentiment but once I stuck this on, then I took my take your pick tool and I poked it through the hole so that I could make a hole in my designer series paper. That made the brad going through much easier. But isn't that a really fun little simple card for a happy birthday? And then I used more of that designer series paper for the envelope. And this next card is using one of those doubles. So I took those two circles, the outside ones, and I doubled them up and I cut those out of some gold foil. And then this is so pretty. This is from the Lovely and Sweet bundle. And I also used the Nature Sweetness Designer Series paper. This is stunning paper. It has, um, one side of it has gold um, foiled on that side and then it's matte on the other side. And then this paper, it's got this design on it and the dies cut out quite a few of the um, flowers and greenery from that um, designer series paper she um, sheet. So that is really, really pretty. And then I just love these little gems because they've got hints of gold inside of them. And then 
That is what I did on the inside. So this could be for just about anything. This could be a wedding card, but it could also even be for um, a retirement or even a baby. So I thought that one was lovely and elegant. I think that's one of my favorites that I made. Oh, I don't know. Maybe this one is. <laughs> so this one is using the Thoughtful Expressions bundle. And I chose to use this die, which um, if you just wanted to do it on a strip, you'd want something about 7 eighths to an inch wide, and then you would cut that out. Um, but instead, I took it on a piece of paper. This is from the Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper. There's some really beautiful florals on, on that in that pack, and the back side of it has some really um, nice I don't want to call them quite solids, but they're pretty much solids. So that really shows up the pattern for using that die. So I just did it across that piece all the way. I just kept running it down. And then I matted it on a piece of white. And then you can see I stamped those little flowers. Um, there is a single flower with some leaves. I stamped it around the edge before matting that. So you're in my thoughts today. And then I just put some more of the stamps. I just did them in a very uh, light so tone on tone color and did those more more of those on the corner of this a couple more here for you so this next one is a great father's day card this is using the trusty tools bundle so i have that largest circle there but on this piece i took some crumb cake and then i ran this here let me grab it again i ran this down the side and then I offset it a little bit. So you can see how this one is up here. This next one was a little bit offset. And then the next one, I, I moved it up again. And that's how I got this panel. And then I used my blending brush to give it a little um, touch of the pecan pie so it would coordinate with my paint brushes. And then I used the big circle here and I love these little cork dots, uh, nice and organic. And then there's my Happy Father's Day and then the paintbrushes here. And then for these dies, so that's these two little ones here. This one I kept quite simple, a, a, just a, a rectangle here, and I used my Softly Said uh, stamp set to do that. I love this one because the sentiments are nice and big and bold. So I just did my sentiment and then I did this on either side of it and then matted it. And I'm using some of the Sunny Days Designer Series paper. That's one of the ones that you can get for free. And then a strip of that on the inside. And then also on my envelope. All right, I have one more for you. This one is using the Softly Sophisticated stamp set to get this sentiment. And then I used some of this new um, Baker's Twine. This comes in a, a tricolor set. It's in the Lighter Than Air suite. And uh, that might not be the correct name of the suite, but that's the stamp set. And then this is the Softly Stipple Designer Series paper, also in celebration, which you know that you can get this free with a $50 purchase. So for this one, I took a strip of this paper. So this is one of the back sides, which again is not quite solid, but nearly solid. So those work really good for showing off the design. So I took a strip that was just a little bit shy of a half an inch wide. And then I ran these dies. I just put one down and then I put the next one, ran it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine, repeated this a couple more times. So I had a full strip that's 12 inches long to get this. And then I added that to the side of my designer series paper and then along the bottom of the card and then a little bit more paper on here. So that is what I have to show you today. This again is a great great, great um, detailed dies set. Uh, I hope that they continue this and put it into our annual catalog because I think you're going to get a lot of use out of it. So uh, reminder, uh, celebration is going on until the end of February. So with every $50 of purchases that you can get something free from our celebration catalog. I'm just going to grab that here so you can see it. So there's a lot of choices in there. There's also a great incentive for joining my team. So I just had somebody join today. I would love to invite anybody else who would like to join to join because it's a great deal. And this glass mat is something that you can get for joining during celebration. 
It's also a great time to host. If you would like to get some rewards for um, purchasing some other things that you want on your wish list, there is an additional bonus for any host who has uh, an event with $300 in sales. You're going to get rewards anyway for doing that, but they're going to give you an additional $30 worth of products that you can choose um, as an additional reward on top of the other ones. So there's a lot of great things for celebration. I would like to also um, ask you to give me a thumbs up, share my videos, be a subscriber, and leave me comments. I love reading your comments. I've had some really fun ones, and I so much appreciate it. It really touches my heart. And that is it for today. I will see you next time.